How's it going everyone? In today's video I'm going to be showing you how you can play actual real games on your Apple TV. As there is now no need to really jailbreak your device, nor is there a requirement to even sideload just to play some of your retro favorite games. As you see I'm able to play everything from like Cyberpunk all the way to iconic classics from back in the day. And it's all paired to a modern day gaming controller. So what's the latest generation Apple TV 4K? Its specs are quite impressive as not only does it have Wi-Fi 6, it has an A15 Bionic processor that is a 5 core CPU of 2.9 gigahertz, 4 gigabytes of RAM, Bluetooth 5, and although this is the entry level model, the 64 gigabyte version, we do not have an ethernet port back here. And unfortunately there's no support for like external drivers such as like an output IO port for like a USB-C or a USB-A unfortunately. But even with these limitations, this is still a very capable, nice modern day emulator, which is great because we haven't really received anything powerful in terms of the Android TV box side. It's been a while since they released a powerful TV box. The latest one we received was from Google, but that was, wasn't really anything impressive. Which is why the Apple TV is definitely a good little box to definitely check out and see what it can do. So I have this paired to my Xbox Elite controller, but if you have like a PlayStation 5, a Nintendo Switch controller, you'll be able to also navigate your entire Apple TV with just your gaming console controller. And emulators like RetroArch that I have installed right here was can all just be installed from the Apple App Store. So to play your favorite emulator games right now, the best one is RetroArch. It's a free to download app on the App Store on the Apple TV interface. And basically this is how it looks like. Just hit install. And once you do that, if, you go, if we actually go ahead and launch the app, let me show you what this thing can do. Not only does it have a familiar PlayStation 3 or, or PlayStation Portable UI, navigation super easy to navigate and here you can see i have a couple of games installed everything from game boy advance games to n64 even have nnes and i believe you could also install some psps but i don't have those psp roms on hand which is why we just have these but if we launch something like crazy like maybe like banjo kazooie as an example and just tap run select n64 and in just a matter of seconds it loads up and there is audio and the resolution is pretty impressive, especially when you have it paired to like a nice modern day 4K television. So as you see right here, texture and everything is loading pretty fine. It's not stuttering or anything like that, but I have noticed there's small graphical errors every once in a while, but not enough to like ruin the whole gameplay experience. So let's go ahead and select file two because we are rebels. And there we go. We could easily look around it's not much issues whatsoever. Audio is fantastic. Yeah, this works really well. And to demonstrate that we are still using the Apple TV, I'm just gonna tap the home button. There we go, we still are on the Apple TV. Even keep track of our history right there too. And to show you how well it runs with other emulator games, here is Crash Bandicoot. Hit run, select the emulator we are looking for. So Game Boy Advance. And just like that, the game booted up. And yeah, full controller. Although for this game, I am using my controller's D-pad, but that's perfectly fine. It's a Game Boy. It doesn't have joystick inputs. And I could still smash like as Crash Bandicoot can. Now real quick, if you could take two seconds, hit that like button, a like, I'll truly appreciate it because I like to keep my videos sponsor free from any brands like VPNs and such like that, things that we already getting used to seeing a lot more on YouTube. I personally don't like seeing that when I'm watching my videos, which is why all I'm requesting is just a simple like, which allows this channel to be driven by you guys. So thank you to those that hit that like button. But now let me go ahead and show you how to install this. Now adding ROMs, it's really easy. Just enter a URL that the display is showing you either by the numbers or the actual URL link on the bottom. And then you'll find yourself in this page. From here, look for Retro Arc. Open the folder and create a new folder. Name it ROMs to keep everything organized and tidy. From here, you'll have this blank page. Create another folder. Name it of your console of choice, N64, Game Boy Advance. And then once you do that, select your entire ROM library and literally click and drag it onto your browser. And then in no time, everything will just be synchronized and added onto the internal storage of your Apple TV. When you first launch the Arc app, and on this page, once you hit okay with the URL information, stuff like that, Go ahead and go into the online updater, right? 
And in order for this to work, you need to go all the way down to update core file information. Just go ahead and select each and every single one of these updates and you'll see like a little green check mark popping up. And now let's back out of here and go into settings real quick in the setting tab. Go in here and look for driver, select a driver and you wanna go ahead and check mark this one right here, XMB. And now just force clo close the app and now relaunch it. And now we have this new UI. So again, just double click the TV icon on the remote. It'll take you to this app switcher and just swipe up to force close the app. But now that we did this, now we need to go into the plus icon and select scan directory in here, select caches. And then you're gonna go ahead and look for that ROM folder that we've selected and select and then scan this. And just go ahead and let it do its thing. And now after doing all that, if we back out all the way, you'll be able to see the contents that we actually scanned. And give it a while, eventually the artwork will automatically load in. So we have our Game Boy Advance games right here. And then we also have our N64 games. And again, the box art to these games just automatically load in and it does a really great job. So that's Retro Arcade in a nutshell. The next thing I like to show you is running PC games on the Apple TV. All thanks to Steam Link right down here. Because I originally picked up a Steam Deck and I could link this to the Apple TV. And to show you how I'm able to do this, here's Steam Link right here, just activate it. And so long as my device is on the same Wi-Fi network as my Apple TV, I'm able to find my Steam Deck right here. So long as the two devices are turned on, I just simply enter the code that right there on the display. And so long as you have a good Wi-Fi network, right now we are using Wi-Fi 6E. The latest Wi-Fi network right now is Wi-Fi 7, which those cost like a 500 bucks. Nowadays, Wi-Fi 6 is now no longer the latest and greatest Wi-Fi. So you can find a Wi-Fi 6 mesh network for around $100. So now that since we are okay, I could quickly just wirelessly connect my Apple TV to my Steam Deck. And you can see right here that we have access to all these games. I'm actually using the controller on the Apple TV. So this Xbox controller actually is paired on my Apple TV. And it's what's using to control my games. So I can boot up something like Batman, play Arkham Knight, and in no time it loads, a, even the Steam Deck identifies that I'm using an Xbox controller as well. So this will work perfectly fine even if you have like a gaming computer, you, don't not, you do not need to have a Steam Deck. You could use a regular PC laptop or desktop with Steam installed, and you don't have to move it around the room. You could just wirelessly connect to it and play all your favorite Steam PC games on your Apple TV. And again, this is just solely relying on your Wi-Fi network. There's no need to connect to a server or anything like that. So long as you have a nice stable Wi-Fi connection, this will work smoothly. So I can select my game progress right here, hit continue. And again, all I have to do is just have this controller paired to the Apple TV and the app itself does everything on its end. So this doesn't necessarily have to be around my lap. This could be somewhere else. And there you go, I'm playing Batman Arkham Knight. I never once experienced any like laggy issues whatsoever because again, everything is just running through the internal hardware in your household. So every game you could think of that you are, you are able to play on the Steam Deck or on your Windows computer, you could basically just run it all using the Steam Link app, which is free to download. You can just install it directly from the App Store on your Apple TV. And there you guys have it. That is how you game modern day games, even some iconic classics on your Apple TV. Hopefully you found this video informative and useful. If you did, again, once more, I would greatly appreciate if you could actually leave this video a like, as those help me out a lot. But everything else that I'm using, including this controller, if you case you're curious what it is, I have it all linked in the description down below. Now, if you're debating about picking up a Steam Deck, maybe you like to have this similar setup, how I have my Apple TV. I have the Steam Deck link in the description down below, but you can also check out this video over there where I highlight all my favorite features that the Steam Deck has to offer. Thank you so much for watching.